Okay, this is going to be a quick video for my A-level electronics students. If you are studying A-level electronics somewhere else, you might be interested, or if you're just interested in this microcontroller, perhaps, uh, then maybe something of use uh, in this video for you. So the microcontroller, uh, you'll see it's on there, it's identified as a Genie C08. It's not actually a Genie C08 chip itself, it's actually a microchip PIC 12F683 which has just been rebranded as a Genie C08 microcontroller. Uh, the Genie software of course um, is uh, something that if you use Circuit Wizard you'll be familiar with. You can program these chips using uh, flowcharts or the basic programming language. Uh, but uh, fundamentally, if you want, you can program these in assembly code using MPLAB X IDE, and uh, that's what I've done. In fact, I've just erased this one, so uh, I'll let you see that I can program it as well using the PIC kit 3. Um, the microcontroller is very, very fully featured, even though it's only got 8 pins. It's got a lot of features packed in there, so for example, it supports, as well as the obvious digital input and output, it's also got comparators, it's got uh, analog to digital converter inputs, so ADC inputs, and it also supports uh, PWM output. So there's a lot going on there, it's really, really good. Uh, one of the nice things about this, as well as having the same 35 instructions, that are in the PIC 16F88 microcontroller and the 84A. Um, it also supports programming in circuit, so that's why I've got this ICSP header there. So I'm going to program this in circuit. So just connect it up, and uh, on my computer, I'm just going to do a download, which hopefully shouldn't take too long, and this LED is going to flash. That's my assembly program loaded. And if you're interested, although you can look this stuff up in the date sheet anyway, so this this header connector, now remember uh, the triangle identifies pin 1, so um, top right of these pins here is uh, pin 1. So pin 1, which is master clear, or VPP, so that goes to the fourth pin of the uh, microcontroller, and so that's the MCLR slash VPP pin. And uh, because it's an active low, it's also going to be pulled high. I've got a 10k resistor there going to my VDD. So that's pin 1 of the ICSP header. Uh, pin 2. Pin 2 of that header of the PIC kit. Uh, that goes to VDD. Uh, pin 3, this uh, blue wire here, that goes to VSS. And then the grey wire, pin 4. That is the programming data, so that's the uh, pin 7 of the microcontroller. And then the yellow wire here, which is the fifth pin of the um, picket, fifth pin uh, is the programming clock. So that goes to pin 6 of the microcontroller. So it's really easy to uh, identify those pins if you're not... Um, uh, if you didn't uh, keep uh, record that information there, or if you don't want to play the video again, of course you can just look in, uh, look it up in the date sheet. It shouldn't be difficult to find at all.